September we met I can tell by your smile You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while So it's really easy to actually um, vibrate on a low vibration without even knowing that you're vibrating on a low vibration so I'm gonna use a perfect example of a low vibration um, how easy it is okay so you're at this job and you have a boss that's constantly harassing you from day one you walked into this job the boss never liked you and you don't have a reason of why this boss didn't like you, right? And when things like that occur, it's it's not based on they don't like you because they see something in you, that they don't like you. When someone don't like you, it's coming from the soul. That person dislike you based on the fact that you guys are not vibrating on the same vibration. One of you may have a higher vibration. So on the wavelength of vibration... You guys are not vibing on the same frequency, right? Your your vibration could be higher than that person. Your vibration could be lower than that person. And they just don't take a liking to you. So that's why when someone, when you don't like someone, it doesn't matter how much that person try to impress you. Or if, if you like this person and the person doesn't like you, it doesn't really matter how much you try to force that feelings or emotions or to be liked on that person. It's deeper than that. It's a soul connection, right? So that person automatically disliked you from the time you walked into the job. And from day one, you're constantly being target, right? And things seems to keep getting worse and worse, right? And when this occur, it can be the fact that the more this person attack you, is the more you're attracting on a lower vibration. Because once emotions becomes an occurrence, where it keeps occurring, this negative emotion keep occurring, it's going to manifest. So if you're, you're at a job and you're constantly being down and being depressed by your supervisor, it's going to manifest into the material world eventually. And as you know... We live in the material world, right? So I'm going to give you a perfect example. Um, I was a recruiter a few years ago, and I was at this job. And from day one I walked into this job, my director didn't like me. I didn't know what I did wrong. I didn't know why she didn't like me. I couldn't understand why this lady would want to try to make my life a living hell, right? She would do anything from snatching documents out my hands, come into the department, start yelling and screaming. And it was just disgusting and humiliating that she would do this in front of the people that I would hire, and also my co-workers. And it started weighing on me. It started really getting to me. And and I remember going to my, my mom's and she would say, well, you need to pray more often. And it seems like nothing was working. I'm constantly being attacked by this lady. Right? Now, somebody might say, but how does that, like, what does that have to do with low vibration? Well, the constant negativity, the constant negative emotions that I'm feeling. I'm now depressed. I'm now angry. I'm now hurt. I'm now bitter. I'm pissed off all the time. So, that, that vibration... Of my feelings, my emotions, my thoughts. That's what I'm going to attract back to me. A lower vibration. So whoever you meet. 
around that time are going to be on the same frequency of vibration that you are. You ever heard someone said, in order for you to be loved, you got to love yourself, right? If you love yourself and you walk around believing in yourself and have a confidence in yourself and encouraging yourself and motivating yourself, that vibration is going to shoot up, right? So the person that you meet now are going to be on the same vibration with you. You're going to attract back the same vibration with you. That person may not be identical to you, but that person's vibration is going to be higher than you being down, being depressed, being insecure, being angry, being hurt on a depression state. Whatever, whoever you meet around that time, you're going to be attracting on that level of vibration. So when I was actually at the job, I used to be more angry, right? I would be upset all the time to the point where I started taking out my anger around everyone, right? I was always upset. Because I was frustrated. I didn't know how to handle someone constantly attacking me. I didn't want to get up and go to work. I didn't want to be around this lady. And I didn't know what to do. It got to the point where it got so bad that I actually resigned um, my job and left. That's how it weighed on me. Right? So basically, the example that I just used is how easy it is to attract on a low vibration. Because if you're constantly down, if you're constantly depressed, you're constantly feeling hurt, that's the frequency of vibration that you're going to be pulling on a lower vibration. So we live in a low realm. So it's very easy to make that connection of frequency of pulling that vibration. Right? So, it goes the same way as when I spoke in my other video as far as manifesting. If you are at a job and you're constantly being harassed and you spend numerous times throughout the day talking about it, you're creating the problem more bigger than what it is. And I'll tell you why. Because now you're manifesting the problem. Right? If you're on your lunch break talking about your supervisor, you get home, you're still talking about your supervisor. You're sitting at the job and working and you're still talking about the supervisor. You're making your problem bigger than what it is. You're manifesting your problem. You have too much emotions on that problem. So one might say, but how would I be able to not attract on a low vibration? How would I be able not to manifest all, the, all that negativity that's actually coming into my world at that moment? It's very easy to say, but it's training to do. You have to train your thoughts, right? You have to learn to kind of disconnect from when someone is attacking you. And don't make that become your reality, right? Know to yourself, we may not vibrate within the same vibration. We may not be on the same frequency and you may not like me. But I'm not going to give you that power by allowing you to constantly attack me and then give you that power for you to constantly keep doing it because that's what you're doing. You're allowing the person to constantly keep attacking you because you constantly keep vibrating on a lower vibration because you're down and you're depressed and then now you're manifesting and basically attracting more of the negativity in your life. So that's how easy it is to actually vibrate on a lower vibration without even knowing i remember the first time um actually having an understanding and speaking to someone about low vibration and the person said to me well how am i 
how do I have low vibration? You're basically trying to say that I'm evil. And I was like, low vibration has nothing to do with evil, good, bad, sad. It really has to do more with your emotions and what you're attracting, right? Because if you're constantly down, let's, let's use another scenario. Being in a, in a relationship with someone that you're now in a depressive state and you're constantly hurt. And you spend majority of, throughout the day just hurt all the time. That's a lot of emotions. That's a lot of energy that you're putting on that person. You're giving that person your power by doing that, right? The, when, when you do that, right? When you, when you constantly are hurt all the time, you're dropping your vibration, when you're when you're constantly giving up your power to give to someone else you're allowing that person to do more harm to you because you're spending too much time and effort indulging in the pain so what you're going to be doing at that moment is manifesting that pain because there's too much emotions occurring on that one subject so now you're going to end up vibrating on a lower vibration because you're spending too much time being negative, right? I remember um, this book I read one time, and it talked about affirmations, right? Waking up in the morning and saying everything that you want to believe about yourself, right? So you want to say, I'm happy, right? I'm beautiful, I'm kind. I have a good life. Right? I'm not in my struggle. Because majority of times people spend majority of times being sad. They spend more time talking about things that they don't have. Spend more time worrying about the things that they cannot achieve. And it's like you're basically having affirmation on the negativity. So imagine if you woke up one day and you start putting the affirmation on positivity where you're now basically using affirmation to attract the positivity in your life. So all this actually helps as far as raising that vibration, right? There's many things that can raise the vibration. You can meditate to raise the vibration. But it all starts back with the thought process. Like I said on my previous videos. Your thought process plays with everything. So the first thing you want to do if you wanted to raise your vibration is start with the affirmations. And really believe it. Really put that emotion. Wake up in the morning if you're feeling insecure about yourself. And just say, I'm beautiful. And mean it. Look at one thing about yourself that's attracted to you. And look in, within yourself and say, I might like my eyes. And say, you know what? I have beautiful eyes. I'm a beautiful person. I have a beautiful heart. Right? If you have insecurities, you mightn't like your weight. You mightn't like your hair. You mightn't like the house you live in. You mightn't like the car you drive. You mightn't like the job you have. Use the affirmations to raise your vibration. Start working on things that can actually change your emotions of thinking so negative, right? And that's the way that we can raise that vibration because it's so easy to have low vibration and not know that we are actually having a lower vibration by based on our natural to day to day habits right so I thank you guys for watching I hope you guys could thumbs up and subscribe